I've completed all of... I can't get rid of this. Channel your magic towards your targets. You have it! Now, why not practice the new spell? Indomi. Descender! Excellent! I think you have it. <laughs> Professor, do you have a moment? I do. I was wondering how you decided to teach divination. Ah, the art of divination is an important yet often misunderstood branch of magic. Those of us who possess the sight are rare. And, as is often the case with the unique among us, we can frequently be misread, even feared. When I was granted the opportunity to teach others about my gift and the good it can do, I was most grateful. I see. Natty told me that you and she moved here from Uganda, where she had attended Wagadu. Yes, Natsai and I both loved Uganda and Wagadu, but we are happily settled here now. I had foreseen such a change, but did not know the details until it occurred. I was glad of the outcome. You would be wise to remember that the consequences of our actions are complex. And so, divining what is to come is not as simple as gazing into a crystal ball or studying the bottom of a teacup. I find it truly intriguing, even if I don't fully understand it. <laughs> intriguing. That is one word for it, and I'm certain you will come to understand many things more deeply in the days ahead. You are a student at Hogwarts, after all. It cannot have escaped you that we in the Wizarding world are forever navigating the seemingly inexplicable. Of course, Professor. Now, I know that we both have places to be. Not because I have the sight, mind you, but because I am a professor and you are a student. I have enjoyed our conversation.
Nintendo. At some point, you must stop preparing and put your newly honed skills Let me also. outside of the classroom. Akio. Nintendo. Nice to see you, my young friend. to get the right consistency in a confusing conclusion. I can never get one to dig. If it's seeds I'm after, I'll always go to the magic meat. I've upset Madam Green one too many times now. She won't soon be welcoming It's back a relief to, to find Revelio. an answer as to why that portrait was empty. I know they do. They always put a bit of something extra in the bag for me. I don't know why you don't think it. I've seen her do it. It's true. Soon get as a snitch. Nonverbal spells are very difficult. And risky. You could never do one. <gasps> Arresto momentum. Accio. I didn't do anything, madam. Nobody is getting punished. Bar perhaps a little cleanup of the ground. But if this happens again, it'll be a most gruesome detention. Yes, yes Madam Kagawa. Marvelous dedication to the sport. I told you she was good, didn't I? You should see her with a cook pot. Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy, Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the 
beast in class are perfectly safe. Oh! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puff skin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here, you can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> You can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to think it enriches his experience. That's lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast feed? What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. <laughs> I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the Neasles in the farthest pen? This way. The Neasles are over here. Oh, a couple of these or whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honeyjukes. <laughs> uh, stupid thing. Oh. Uh, uh. What in Merlin's uh. name are you doing? Uh, tuss, tuss, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone! <laughs> Her name is Persephone! <laughs> That's really not funny. <sighs> Let's go. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Coaches in training. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. <laughs> the measles really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one, as do I. It appears our time has come to an end. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Now, where is our new student? Ah, there you are. I would like a moment, please. A happy beast is a giving beast. That's what Professor Howard always says, at least. If we treat them well, they'll treat us well. Where are the lions? I would like to see a huge Gryffindor lion in this class for once. Buskins are fond of bogeys. It's brilliant to catch someone by surprise with one. I'd love to have pet beasts at home, but with my uncle travelling all the time, there'd be no one to look after them.
Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the savagers in Rookwood's poacher pack. Sadly, we're the ones who suffer, stumbling over dead beasts. Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps? Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. Hey, over here. Come on. Do you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least, that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. You've intrigued me. Very well. Lead the way. I'd hoped I would. I wouldn't take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Really? Thank you, I think. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. the weather we're having, don't you think? Poppy, where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just show you. Don't worry, we're nearly there. It's just ahead. Stand back. Magnificent. Go on, introduce yourself to her, but be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. someone this quickly. You can feed and brush her if you'd like. I come and check on her every once in a while. Bring her pasties, tell her what's going on in the castle. You wouldn't know from looking at her, but she's a dreadful busybody.
So, what did you think of High Wing? I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and High Wing cross paths? It's a longer story, but I rescued her from poachers a few years back, got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again, and that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seems to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poachers' influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep Highwing safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. was a lot of error. I'd make a fine keeper, with a bit more practice. Oh, I don't like how flying messes up my hair. Oh, I wish I could spend all day in flying. Should have been born a hippogriff. I'm far too afraid of heights to fly on a broom. What? It's nothing to be ashamed of. I don't see you racing about the towers. I was destined to be a glorious beater if Quidditch had been cancelled this year. I was. Broomsticks are so out of date. I'd rather travel by flu network any day. I don't know what Madame Kugawa sees in an older race. She's not that good at flying. Do we really need to practice flying on a broomstick? I thought that was the purpose of trains. Wish our common room was bigger. I can never find enough space to spread out my star charts. I bet Garlic had a say in it. Why else would it be the only common room with plants? She's obviously showing favoritism. Hmm. I know what you mean. Why would Helga Hufflepuff have you tap on barrels, though? That's the only thing that mystifies me. There was a rumor that if you look from the barrels in the middle of a Christmas card, you get a present.
Wonder how Sharp injured his leg. I'd wager it was something to do with his time as an aura. I almost had a treasure one. From my mum. Revelio. Revelio. We are fortunate to have a student brave enough. Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not! Uh, and from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. Now, if you wouldn't mind humouring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Go on, take the moon. Oh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed, which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demiguise. A demiguise? <gasps> yes! Terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demigises. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired name. Some jackanapes used a boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. 
You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I, I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. I'd be glad to help you, Mr Moon. Oh, I knew I could count on you. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? Hmm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh! I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> And I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. Alohomora. Remember, Revelio. use a disillusionment charm so no one claps eyes on you. This is a restricted area of the castle, after all.
Revelio. Revelio. Hello, Hamora. Revelio. Poorly, I'd say. Is that so? There is a generation of coddled cape flappers that can scarcely tell the difference between Arcanite and Asphodel. Yes, well, it's still early. Perhaps they'll improve.
Revelio. I wouldn't be. What trickery are you up to? We are fortunate to have a student brave enough to eradicate the Demiguy's figurine menace. Revelio.
Revenio. Alohomora. This must be the Prefect's bathroom. Revelio.
Revelio. Revelio. And bet a few galleons on Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff? The Ravenclaw? I know when I see a winning thing. And Ravenclaw would not have been that. Not this year, anyway. I'm partial to Hufflepuff myself. What was that? What was what? I thought I heard something. Perhaps not. I had high hopes for Hufflepuff. I was finally going to learn the Quidditch. It's a majestic sport. Part of the human condition. Oh, how's that? Well, all of the teamwork in there. Revelio. I suppose you should. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I am most pleased to be included. That had better not be another student, I hear. <laughs> <laughs> 